Hey folks, I want to take a few minutes to introduce this beautiful turntable. This is the Tenoy Micro TM44DD, introduced in 1975. And it's a Microsecchi turntable, so made by Microsecchi. They were a uh, high-end turntable manufacturer in Japan. Um, made a wide variety of turntables, but even their uh, entry-level products are, uh, are very good. Um, this was, from what I understand, this was a partnership with Tenoy to introduce um, Microsecchi to the uh, North American market. Uh, it was introduced uh, around 74, 75, so very much a mid-70s turntable, got that uh, mid-70s aesthetic with the uh, smoked lid and the uh, dark wood finish. Um, Great build quality. This, I'd say, is a is mid-level turntable for uh, Microsecchi. Uh, it was just one step down from the top of the range uh, from that year. Um, at a cost of about $250, that translates to about $1,200 today. And I'd say that's fair. Um, you certainly uh, couldn't touch anything of this quality for less, less than around the $800 range. And from the overall turntable, and certainly from the this tone arm, um, you'd you'd be up in like the twelve to fifteen hundred range, and for a tone arm of this quality um, today, so the um, so it's fully manual. So it does have cueing. It has two speeds: variable speed adjustment for forty five and thirty three, um, direct drive motor, servo controlled, and uh, say the standout feature is is really the tone arm so this tone arm is uh, if, if you uh, recognize it visually is very much a, a cousin to uh, Microsecchi's MA202 uh, which was a tone arm available you know just as a tone arm for for uh, mounting on high-end uh, turntables um, so it's a very good tone arm it's it's a little bit simplified so it doesn't have VTA adjustment which would be the ability to move the uh, uh, whole tone arm here at the back to adjust your VTA. Uh, it does obviously have stylus force and, and bias adjustment uh, and is very, 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 very nice quality. The overall spindle to <clears throat> pivot to spindle distance is uh, 270, 207 millimeters, which is a uh, uh, good distance. Certainly you can, uh, with that distance, you get uh, a good tracking angle, angle and can adjust your um, cartridge accurately using uh, any of the uh, any of the um, you know the Bayer Wald or, or uh, Stevenson uh, alignments that are available out there. Um, I think I mentioned as a strobe so when you look uh, straight down um, there's a, a mirrored prism and the stroboscopic pattern is under the platter and it's actually a metal disc uh, printed metal or etched to printed metal disc which is which is nice. It's not just a sticker, as uh, is sometimes found on on units that are made that way. Um, I believe I'm pretty sure this is a a vinyl veneer, uh, but it's in excellent condition. Um, I don't see any issues at all with it. Um, the surface here is is metal, and um, the table from the underside is damped really well. So there's a lot of reinforcement and damping under the table. Uh, so you get really nice stable unit it's about 18 pounds which is not super heavy but certainly for this size it's fairly compact it's um, nice unit the feet um, and the mat uh, say the you know the mat is like super supple and the feet are uh, excellent as well very nice and soft resilient so provide good um, good isolation uh, cover I'd say is very good certainly no cracks issues like that um, I did polish it, so it's I'd say overall it's very good. There are some uh, are still some scratches, a um, couple flex in the finish, but overall presents uh, really well. Metal hinges, which is pretty typical for this you know this this level in the mid 70s, you're going to get metal metal hin hinges. They're nice, really solid, large, robust hinges. Um, so with that, uh, um, just one other thing I thought of. There's if you do a little research on on this table, there's a little there's a little bit of misinformation out there. So um, I've heard it said repeated a couple times that the that the table was made in England and that the tone arm was made 
in Japan, but actually the entire table was made by Microseki in Japan. Um, and I think I mentioned it's, it's the clone of the DD-1. Uh, so the DD-1, you can find the, the manual and so forth for that one. And a little information for that. As I think that one was available in Japan as well as in Europe at that time. So with that, let's uh, just put on a record and do, uh, do a quick demo here. So it uh, has one sliding control, which controls on off as well as cueing. Then you have your speed adjustment, a lever for speed adjustment, as well as individual pots for, uh, you know, variable speed potentiometers for speed control for each speed. So the idea is you'd move it to the on position. Um, and this is, this is really nice because you don't have to unclip or clip. It just holds it. Um, and that's really also nice. And the rubber is in great shape there. You know, put in place and then cue down. Now you'll notice I've seen, um, I've had a couple of videos of this on YouTube and, and, uh, so you'll see how, um, folks will kind of nurse it down using the lever uh, to avoid it dropping too fast. But uh, this one has been fully restored, so that's been addressed. And uh, let me bring it back up. And I can totally understand why, uh, why that's done, because it's not easy at all to get to this uh, uh, cueing mechanism for, uh, for recharging it with the uh, viscous sili silicone oil and obviously cleaning the old one out. You have to take apart the entire um, mechanism, which really should be done anyway, if, you know, clean the pots, clean everything, uh, you know, put it back together, lubricate it. Um, so all that's been done as well as then getting access to this um, uh, cueing mechanism. So if you watch, it drops, it's nice and soft, but not too fast or too slow. So, uh, you know, there's, uh, I think another myth is that, you know, this should be you know, ultra slow, but you're really looking for one to two seconds. And that's what we have here. So, um, you know, this is fully manual turntable. So at the end, it's just going to ride in the groove until you um, pick it up yourself. Okay, so uh, not a whole lot to, to demo, uh, but uh, great table, great ground, great sounding table. Um, nice, and then you can you know you can just turn it off, and it'll turn the platter. The platter will drift down to uh, to stop. It doesn't have any electromagnetic brake or anything like that. Just servo control, direct drive motor. Um, but uh, it it is fitted with a a nice uh, entry level cart. Uh, properly new and properly aligned. This is the AT3600L. So a uh, good card, good to uh, get you off and running. But, uh, you know, with, with a table of this quality, with especially with the tone arm, uh, stability of the uh, uh, direct drive, um, you, you could easily handle a cart, you know. You know, even $400 plus wouldn't be overdoing it for this table. And certainly anything in that, like, you know, $150, $200 range would be Probably the sweet spot uh, for this table, like a uh, Nagaoka um, 110, 150, something like that. Uh, order fonts, obviously. Uh, so anyway, um, with that, let's uh, let's wrap this one up. Hope you enjoyed this. I certainly enjoyed uh, working on this table, bringing it up, bringing it up to this level, and uh, have a great day. Thank you.